My name is Joshua Tomsik, and today we are going to be going through the general navigation of your Mac operating system that you are using. Now, what I mean by navigation is pretty much how you are going to transition from uh, application to application or window to window type of deal. So now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm here at my desktop, and I'm going to go down to the bottom where my dock is, and I'm going to select one of these icons. Now, for this uh, instance, I'm going to select Safari. I'm going to bring it up, so I click on it, and I bring up Safari. Now, it's going to bring up our home page, uh, which it should also for you. Now, um, let's just talk about the general navigation of this window, and then we'll kind of get into some further detail about our system. Uh, first, I want to start at the top of this window, work my way from left to right. So, the first button that we have is a red X circle. Uh, and that red X uh, essentially closes whatever session I'm in of this application. So you can see I'm in Safari up here at the top left-hand side. So now I'm going to hit the X, and it closed out of the current session that I had open, but I'm still running my Safari application. So I can click my Safari button and reopen that application to a new session. Now beside the red X is a yellow dash inside of a ball and that yellow dash minimizes the window down to your dock. So if I hit this right here, as you can see it minimized the window all the way down to my dock. Now this line in your dock splits any application that you have set uh, to stay permanent and all of your running applications that you currently have minimized. Now to bring that window back open I'm going to click on the Safari window or uh, here and then now the next thing that I have available to me is I have this green button with a plus symbol which is Apple's way of best sizing it uh, upon their recommendation so if I hit that green button what that's going to do is is that's going to size it how Apple thinks this page should be viewed as you can see it did not really make much of a difference now over here to the right is my maximize button now the maximize button does have its advantages, but also its disadvantages. The advantage is if you hit the maximize button, it's going to take up your whole screen, as you can see here. But then you lose all of your options available to you at the top unless you mouse up to the top. You also lose your dock unless you mouse down to your dock. So I have a lot of users that will maximize their window and then ask or call in and say, I can't you know, maneuver outside of Safari, I need your help. Well, if this ever happens, what you want to do is just mouse up to the top Go to the right hand side and click this blue button now at the very top right and that's going to get you out of maximized mode and that's going to get you back into the window that you currently saw before you hit that. Now let's talk about some of the sizing. Now I have it sized uh, to where I like it um, and so that way I can navigate with windows around it. But let's say that you like to have it uh, whatever size that you want it. How to do that is, is to come over here to the left hand side of the border of the window, click and drag it and you can make it wider. You can go down here to the corner and make it uh, wider and taller and or shorter or uh, slimmer and it goes by an aspect ratio if you do that down there in the corner or you can just make it taller or shorter by grabbing the bottom. Now I like to resize my windows manually so that way I can stack windows on top of each other. Now I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's say I click another application. Let's use an example of my App Store. Now I have my App Store open and it is a lot smaller than my Safari window. And so if I click on my Safari window with my applications behind it, you can now not see my application window. But yet you know you have your application window open. You can go down to your dock and see that there's a little light below your application button itself and so if you click that it's just going to bring whatever application uh, session that you have open to the forefront of your um, of your screen so just kind of how that works is is I can have my Safari open and I don't see my applications I can actually move my Safari so I can see it I can click on it that way maneuver them around manually or let's say that I can't find it and I don't want to move my Safari I can just simply click the App Store button down here at the but the bottom and uh, it's going to appear over any window that I have open. Same thing in regards to, let's say, your Finder. You know, let's say I have two other applications behind it. 
it's going to bring whatever application you click on to the forefront. So if I click on Finder, here it is. If I click on the App Store, there it is. Now I can manually move these over so I can see all of them and navigate to all of them at one particular time. That is totally up to you. Now let's go into a, a quick uh, session of how our environment works for you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head and log into my Enfuse page. <clears throat> and I'm going to bring up a couple applications. Okay, so now there's a couple ways to go about navigating in our system. <clears throat> and the ways that you can go about navigating are uh, pretty straightforward. Now, the ways that I just showed you also apply to the navigation of your Citrix session in our system. Okay, so now I have Alarisware open. And let's say that I'm going to open up another application. I'm going to open up this InfoScan program which we do not use, but just to have a reference point here. Okay, so now I have two Citrix applications open as well as my Safari application open. Now, let's talk about navigating through those. And so, once again, if I put my Safari window over top my Citrix applications, I cannot see them. Now, how do I navigate to my Citrix sessions inside of this Mac operating system? Uh, two, or there's actually a couple ways. The first way I like to do it is if you go down here to the Citrix viewer down here at the bottom, this icon, uh, you can click it and it's going to bring, if you just general click it, uh, primary click it with one finger, it's going to bring up every application that you have uh, in the background. So as of right now, I have two applications running uh, in my Citrix session. So if I click it, it's going to bring both of those to the front. Now. Let's say that I only want my Alarisware to the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to two finger click it or secondary click it. And I'm going, it's going to bring up the options I have available to me. Now I can click on my Alarisware application and it is only going to bring my Alarisware application to the forefront um, of the viewing. Uh, and so now I can right click this again and bring my other application to the forefront, which actually it defaulted behind it, but I can click it and it goes, uh, it gives me now my primary viewing window. Now, the other way of going about this is you can also minimize these applications down to your dock. So if you minimize those, you can now navigate through them via your trackpad and or uh, mouse that you have. And so if I click on this fast stone here, it's going to bring it up just like so. If I minimize that back down, I can bring up Alarisware just like so. Now, let's say that you don't even want to minimize them and you don't want to mess with them in regards to uh, clicking the actual icon down here. You can arrange them uh, to where they are situated um, on your window, uh, like so. You can situate them however you want. But so now I'm able to work fully in my uh, Enfuse page, in my um, Safari application. I'm also able now to switch over to this application by just clicking on it. I also see a Alarisware here at the bottom. As you can see, it's all the way down uh, as it's the last application that I've selected. I can click on that, and it brings it to the very front. And so now, once again, I can go back to Safari, I can go back to Alarisware, or I can go back to any application that I have open. So you can, you can stack them, so that way you can just navigate through them via one click. So that is the quick three ways to navigate in and out of windows um, that are open uh, for applications inside of your Mac operating system. If you have any questions or concerns, please just email the help desk or give us a call. I thank you for your time and I hope you have a wonderful day.